Mike reporting for ASECAS.com, continuing our meetings with the heads of delegations. I'm with Jan Bors from the Czech Republic. Uh, welcome to Lisbon. How's it been going? Hi, it's, uh, it was going fine. We had some kind of like stressful situations in here, but now it's fine. I think it's everything's all right. Weather's perfect. There's nothing missing. Okay, and everything's okay with Miklas now because he had a few issues on stage and stuff, but he's good now, right? Yeah, I wouldn't say he's okay. Okay. But he's okay for the uh, uh, for the act, so that's that is gonna be all right. Cool, that's good. Uh, so this is really about uh, viewpoints from production team. So the first thing I'm gonna ask is about your national final selection mm -hmm. this year. You had the the online selection mm -hmm. process. How did that come about, and why did you plan to go with that? So, you know, we were working on Eurovision for the last four years. This like almost the same thing as three years because mm -hmm. I came up like three years ago in Stockholm. Yeah. And we were thinking how to how to involve more artists into into the selection because that we were we were picking internally. We didn't receive so many songs, but year by year it, it the number grew up. Okay. And we just find that uh, there are artists who really want to go to Eurovision because that was uh, impossible like three years ago if you just said Eurovision Czech Republic, everybody said like, yeah. nah, yeah. I don't want to go there, everybody's gonna gonna be laughing at me and blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nowadays uh, people just see that even like if you're unknown, you can try to send a song, yeah. which we try to encourage encourage everyone. Like it's still a bit like a lot of people asking like, can, can we just, like send a song? Like, yes, there are like three simple rules because you do it. Yeah. Even you're unknown, we don't care. If yeah. you're good, you'll be picked up we'll or we will give you feedback you know for next years it's just nothing and we picked six songs for this selection mm -hmm. this year and we got like so only like it sounds only but for us it's like a big number like three three, three songs from Czech art like wow, that's a good that is that's a, big a Czech number, because yeah. there was nothing there was, you've gone from zero basically basically to, yeah to, 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 to three, three and probably well. next year is gonna be even better because like the people just find out that even you're not picked up from the selection there's attention from the press exactly. from fans you're becoming not unknown they're exactly. becoming someone or it's it's a good feedback for a career whatever yeah. and you just see how the, how the how the things go that i think that was a good decision to okay. to start with it and actually everybody can see it okay. which is good so congratulations from us on making the show a success or making the selection process a success yeah. and we hope that that continues in the future moving on to like to the promotional parties there's a big promo tour now i think there's like five major stops mm -hmm. Do you feel that that's useful for the artist or for yourselves as a TV company? And also, do you think that influences the result by attending? So, I will answer the last one. Yeah. I think it 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 influences nothing. Yeah. But it's really important things to do. Actually, I, I'm glad that that this is happening mm -hmm. because, like, for the artist, is definitely the perfect way how to perform in front of people, different stages to talk to the press for the first time like for Mikolas, it, I think when you just saw him first in Riga and then and and then and then you, you we you invited him for a drink do you remember <laughs> yeah I know I know, I know I know I think that. he was a bit nervous he was like oh these are all press people and we're like no 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 we're because all, he wasn't we're used all. to it yeah. it's but it's normal it's like it's a big thing like it's not yeah. like oh. that's a big contest like it's just well lose it you know a bit yeah. it just shows it's in, like there's a big base of fans yeah. who wants to know everything, which yeah. is which is like not like it's like maybe football players just yeah. has it, you know, but not 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 artists normally. Yeah. And uh, this is important because he know how to talk. He know he knows you. Uh, it's good for him to to find a confidence to 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 knock out the stress. Cool. And I think this is super important for him, for for any artist actually, yeah. to find out where his limits, what what he should work on, or he found out that you know in Israel there was like so many thousands As of people, people yeah. and most of the people never 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 sang in front of the, this kind of audience, yeah, you know, yeah. and uh, then you just get it's, it's experience, the experience you get, you you can you you can you can have it in here. Yeah. If you have it in here only for the first time. This will stress you out because, like yeah. every artist, I don't know any artist who go. Even I, I think even Justin Timberlake was a bit nervous. Yeah, and it's Justin Timberlake. Yeah, exactly. He did it thousands, th thousands yeah. times. And there are people who just never, ne never sang in front of like 10 k people. Yeah, exactly. And there's like other like it millions does, in it, front of it, cameras. It, it you know, really throws the artists sometimes. So they, when they come here, sometimes they go. I didn't realize that this was so big, especially artists from the UK. UK artists find that a lot. They really? come, they think it's oh, it's just Eurovision yeah, TV show. Eurovision is like me in, yeah, in, in, in yeah, UK. Exactly, a little bit. Um, talking about the fan media, you touched on that very slightly there. Uh, we are very vocal, we are very opinionated. Do you take on board anything that we say as a production company? And does that influence any decisions you may make? You mean your, like like the press ideas or yeah, press ideas? Why? Actually, actually, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say we don't listen. Okay. 
but I probably we, we did. Uh, sometimes you, you just have points we already were thinking about or something, yeah. but we can't think like this. You know, we can't. We, we have to. We we have like we planning things like like more in front of time than we even talk. Yeah, because so I, I think what a lot of people forget about your vision uh, from the fan point of view, not fan media, yeah. but from the fan point of view, they don't realize that this this whole process it, for the TV companies yeah. starts up sometimes a year before the, right. it start, the planning right, starts the next the, day after the planning. Yeah, about the national selection actually we start planning it just right after after the Kiev ended. Yeah. And finished and that's that's how it is because like you have to plan you have to think they have to have a concept the concept must be accepted by board yeah. you have to find money for it you know it's like it's not that easy you know it's like like not like why didn't you do this and because it's so obvious it's like yeah because you planned it like three months ago and exactly, yeah. and you have to decide three months ago for something and you can't change it like this you, yeah. it's just impossible production wise so the process is actually hard and you know like there's everybody in uh, other teams who's, who works that works on other projects not just Eurovision yeah, it's exactly. impossible yeah, to yeah. do just one project because like it's still three minutes exactly. even even it even it's it's uh, it's a hard work sometimes because I'm doing strictly yeah. in Czech Republic okay. and I so I, I thought actually this is just three minutes it might be okay now this is the the hardest thing is the it pressure eats up your time right? it do it does it yeah. says but it's good because it's a it's a fun work it's a really really good job so okay. we all enjoy it and you're improving every time you know like so you we try to to have some feedbacks even on us you know we we actually ruined it last year but to martina because we just we, mm. we just didn't make the good decisions i think it wasn't yeah. just that, that that we know yeah and this year we don't like we exp this is this experience we got yeah Actually, that's quite interesting that you you say yourself that you 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 had some issues last year because one big comment from the media so far this year is that the Czech Republic needed to get their staging right. Yeah, and, and it's like I, I, it's great to hear that you actually realised that you're you're. Yeah, yeah, sure, but you know, it still depends on the song. Yeah, absolutely. The, like we we had a song similar to Salvador Sobra who won. Yeah. And uh, but we didn't. We haven't. We, we wanted to keep it simple. Yeah. Last year, but we did it just in a weird way, probably just. But that's the experience. Just mm. okay, that yeah. happened. What 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 can we you do? Learn from it, though, right? Hopefully. Yeah. And this year, this this song ob obviously needs a great staging. Like not mm -hmm. the song is great by itself. Yeah. But we wanted to show that fun. It's fun. It's uh. It's uh, music video wise. It all works. It's like colorful dancing. Yeah. Cheer up. And that's it. Like that's what we want to show, and hopefully it's gonna work. I think it's gonna work. It's gonna be a great show, actually. Yeah, I think. I, I, yeah, I think you're possibly gonna have your best result ever at the Czech Republic. Hopefully, yeah. like we have a super strong semi-final. Yes. Super strong. Yeah, everybody yeah. can yeah. sing great. I I love those stagings of some some some, some delegations that what, what they made very fine, which is good. It's like like real. That that's a competition, you know. Yeah. Like and you never know about your origin. Like everybody's asking, like you're a favorite. You're almost a favorite. Or you can win, or whatever. Always we say like, yeah, that's yeah. gonna be great. We would like. To have it in Prague is Prague is the most beautiful city in the world, I think. Like, yeah. and it's completely prepared for those kind of events. We have everything there, infrastructure, everything works. But you can't say like you win. You it's, never know. It's it's like, Eurovision. Who knows what? Will you, ne you, you never, you never know. know. And there are super strong songs, super strong stagings. Like, it's real. It's gonna be great. Eurovision. Even there are no LEDs. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Jan, absolute pleasure to speak to you. I always have a great time with you whenever yeah. I meet you on the promo tour. So just one final question from me. Okay. Uh, if there was one rule at Eurovision that you could change, what would that be and why? Actually, I would change the, the fact that uh, you had to have like every vocals, every vocals must be live. Okay. But there are like loopers, there are like things like, like Neta has it. And sh I think she can't use it pro like properly because it's against rules, yeah. like this thing. And I think the music's just evolving, so that's why there's no no. So maybe pre-recorded some pre-recorded backing vocals. Or something like like, or just find a way how to how to how how to go uh, go forward forward with the with the technology or something because that's I think that's why they they uh, it's not allowed to have live music because mm. live music is great, mm. it's awesome, but it's it has its limits. Exactly. Yeah. So okay. I would probably change that. Great answers, Jan. Thanks so much for your time. Enjoy the rest of yeah, the sunshine and have a great time in Lisbon. Thanks, my friend. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Yeah.